Yo, what's up, Bonehawks? You're getting here. Welcome to a video all about getting better at Mortal Kombat 11. I was in a Twitch stream the other night, and they were talking about how they were, you know, taking the game seriously and getting competitive, and I noticed something that they weren't doing, and I thought, I wonder if a lot of people overlook that. And maybe they just don't realize how uh, useful it actually can be. So, I thought I'd make a video of just, just a few things here that I think could be overlooked, but actually could make a big difference. So... If you're new here and you enjoy content like this, subscribing, and consider checking out our playlist from the ground up. All sorts of useful stuff there. Let's get into it. Accept your death. Alright, so the first thing is the actual health bar information. And this is what I was talking about originally there. Uh, display health. So it's in just the gameplay options. This is an absolutely super useful tool. And if you want to play competitively at all, I recommend turning it on. Here's an example of how it's kind of helped me out. So with Baraka, I can do this block string, right? Of one, one, two, into that move, which is unsafe. Full combo punish, like not something you should ever really rely on on block. But if you look at the health bar, I can see that just over 70 health. So if my opponent is below 70 health, I can make it an idea to just go in and do this, and that will chip them out. And there's nothing they can do. You do have to take into consideration the last breath as well. That it'll use both of their defensive bars, which is usually why I will kind of try and get them around the 50 health part first, just by kind of going through there. But yeah, if it wasn't for those information on the bars, I wouldn't have such an amazing tool at my disposal that I'd be able to use to chip out opponents. I'm sure a lot of characters have options like this, things that you can explore, but it kind of opens things up for you for another avenue of getting better and improving your play. So that would be my first one, which I think is probably the most important one on this list. This next one is a little bit more well known, but if you're not super into competitive side, you might have overlooked it. Uh, we go into the options and go to controls and release check. We want this off. I don't know why they keep putting this into the game. I believe it actually defaults as being on, if I'm not mistaken, but it's basically where you can hold a button and then you do an input like a down forward, then you release the button and then the special move comes out, which I don't know a single person who prefers to play that way. And this can create all sorts of input errors for you. So. Maybe you like it, but at least go and turn it off and just see if it is on and see if maybe things are better, you know? Maybe you've gotten used to playing with that. I don't know, but everybody that I know thinks this is a pain in the butt and uh, just kind of a bad way to play. You know, a helpful one is like the inter alternative controls if you're used to things like Street Fighter or whatever and you can do like quarter circle forwards or half circle forwards, you know, that's useful, but release check? No. Turn it off. Go, go right now. Go right now and make sure that it's off. It'll, it'll save you a lot of hassle. And the last one here is the offline input delay. I find that MK11's netcode is so good in in a good connection, like solid ping, that kind of thing. But this is actually makes it slower, like you're playing in a lot of lag when really the connections are pretty good. So I probably wouldn't recommend keeping this, uh, keeping this tool on. I would turn it off and, yeah, just use the regular timing and... Yeah, you know, get used to uh, the regular way of playing. So I, I find it a little bit more detrimental. I did try it because I only really play online these days. Um, but I thought, well, let's give it a go and see if maybe that'll help me out. But I, I did find that it just made, slowed things down a little bit too much. And that just having it off was a little bit more accurate. But uh, also let me know. Have you tried it? Do you play with it on? Do you find it useful? Do you find kind of what I found with it? All sorts of uh, feedback is welcome. That's what we're here for, you know? We're a community, we're inputting, we're outputting. Content creation, baby, yeah! Stuff and things. So that's it. Those are just a few things that you can do to kind of help your game plan that really don't have much to do with gameplay at all. So I share it. Um, hopefully you found this video useful, or maybe not. I don't know, I'm not your dad, but we're all here and we're having a great time, so. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like because it really helps me out and subscribe if you haven't because I make new videos almost every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks all that stuff and we'll see all you Bonehawks in the next video. I am steward of Kronos.